talk worldwide with some news from the world of tennis. So y'all got to check this out. Now, you got your girl Maria Sharapova. Got to the semifinals in Stuttgart, right? And if she would have won that match, she would have been ranked in the top 200, which would have gave her um, prefer preferential treatment going into the French Open. Let's say she would probably got a wild card at that point, right? But she didn't win it, so she's still at number 262. Now, this is a little bit of controversy going forward because some of the players are upset if she would get a main draw, main draw um, wild card at the French Open. And, you know, you're wondering, hmm, do you let that happen or not? So the French Open uh, Tennis Federation or whatever they're called, uh, these guys are really deciding that they say they're going to make a decision on May 16th. They're going to do it live via Facebook. Well, let's see what happens on that. I think uh, what will be a perfect world would be for Sharapova to probably gain some points in the next tournament or two so she can just go ahead and get the normal wild card into the tournament. It doesn't have to be a main draw wild card. Because that would be unfair to the players that are in the uh, thing, right? So we'll just have to see how that is going forward, right? I personally think uh, she shouldn't get it, right? Because it is a doping offense. And that wouldn't be setting a good precedent for people that are watching and the other players. It's not like it was an injury, right? So even though it was meldon meldonium and, you know, it was legal for a while up until January 2016, Still, when you say this sentence, you know, I've been taking this 10 years, right? Then, man, it's, you know, that's pretty hard. You know, I've been taking this 10 years. Now, for those that are able or capable to do so, put on your empathy caps right now and just say this. What if Serena Williams came to the press conference and got caught? Dope. And even if it was Mel Dota, when she said, I've been taking this for 10 years, close your eyes and ask yourself, what would you be saying? You know what I mean? What would you be saying? Stuff like, I knew it. That's why she got that endurance and those muscles. Look how big she is and muscular she is. And those shoulders and this and that. Let's be real. That would be what happened. So I'm just happy that it wasn't her because that's what would have happened. Everything that she would have done would have been put in question. But back to Mar Maria Sharapova. This is the girl who has, has the number one sponsorship deals. More than Serena Williams, even though she hasn't beaten her in like, how many years? Uh, 17 straight matches you've lost you know, to Serena Williams, but you have more sponsorship money. So things like that are the reason why, you know, it's kind of, uh, you know, karma. You know, things happen. You know, you, you know, you got a woman who's by far the number one should probably be number one in sponsorships if she's just totally not a somebody that doesn't know how to act at all. Right. But fair is fair. And, you know, I roll, you know, it's an injustice. So I'm going to. Quite, I'm gonna mention it. And I'm with the tennis player saying, let her earn her points, let her earn earn her stripes back. Uh, Sharapova is, is strong willed anyway; she'll get it done. But I know the French Open is probably also thinking like this, guys, and we have to be real. You know, like Serena Williams won't be there; that's a draw. Uh, so you know, Sharapova is a big draw, right? So you know, sometimes you're going to just say, you know, probably just say, okay, well, you know, we didn't really do it, but we did it, <laughs> and she's here, and then we'll deal with the problems, you know, but we'll see how that is going forward. That's enough on Sharapova, but I just got to mention my man, Rafael Nadal. My man won in Barcelona, too. He won the 10th Barcelona Open, right? So he just won 10 uh, Monte Carlos, which is the first player in history to win any tournament 10 times. And then he follows that up the next week and win Barcelona, also for the 10th time. So just to reiterate, the best clay court player of all time, and matter of fact, by far now, is Rafa Nadal. And we're going up into his uh, living room in the French Open. I kind of want him to get it. You know, I kind of want him to get it. But, uh, you know, Djokovic might have a little something to say about that. Let's see how that is going forward. So that's a little tennis news, y'all. Dome Sports Talk, worldwide, and I'm up out of here, y'all.